Hi, a few people have asked me, um, is old scale electric track compatible with new scale electric track? The answer is yes, and in this video I'm going to show you what to look out for. So this is a piece of classic scale electric track. I bought this myself in 1996 from the uh, Argos in Derby, um, and you can tell it's classic scale electric track because it's got these these round connectors on here. I think it also says made in Great Britain. Um, and you can see the design, it hasn't got any round things and these things only go over to here. Uh, so that's the scale electric track. In about, I think it's about 1999 or maybe 2000, um, Hornby changes the design to, to something like this. So you can see here the difference. Instead of having the, the round connectors on one side, it's got these straight connectors on on both sides on the on the to the left of the conductor rail it also says sport on the bottom and made in china so i think if you bought a tread scale electric sat after about 2000 this is what they look looked like now this coincided i think with um the move to digital which meant that you could have more than one car on a on the same track if you like um, and, all, and that facilitated things like pit lanes and lane changes. So to do this, they um, changed the design so you could put the track either way you wanted and to bring in things like the single lane, which is this is an off cut from what I did in another video. Um, so you can fit that like so. So that's the difference in the track. Is it compatible? Well, you can see here, I'll just quickly show you how you join a piece of classic track. So you put it a bit of an angle like this and then Clicking the connectors, done. That is absolutely solid. There's no way you're pulling that apart. Um, likewise with this, push these in, click and release. Push the little tabs in, done. It's really easy, but I, I found it's not quite as secure as the old system, but hey ho, there we go. So you can see, don't fit together. What do you need? Well, you need, one of these. Now, Scale Extra is called this uh, a C8222. Um, and you can see here, look, it's got the old style connectors on one end and the new style connectors on the other end. So, bonus, you fit in the old style connectors here on this piece of classic track. I think, yeah, it's quite awkward. Might need to. There we go. Really quite awkward, I think, because it's quite slightly different dimension. And then you can go ahead and you can plug in the new, the new track like that. So what this means is, if you've just been up to the attic and you to get your Christmas decorations down, and you've found your own scale extra track, but you want to sort of use more modern cars, you can use the old track with um, the, the new cars. So this is um, a four, well, a digital set that I picked up for about £10 with the controllers. It's 15 volts, um, but I think I'm pretty sure that the, the track voltage is, because it's digital, is about 12 volts um, AC. It's like an AC with a carrier wave, as opposed to 12 volt DC, like the old analog system used to be. And here's my more modern Arc Pro, but you can see the connectors are the same. So what you need to do, if you've got a load of scale electric track on here, and you've got the digital, all you need to buy is the C222 uh, adapter set. Plug this either side of your, of your um, digital base station. And there you have it. You've got a fully digital set that you can use with, with your old scale extra track that you just found, <laughs> found in the attic. So yeah, there you go. Merry Christmas, everybody and speak to you next year. Bye.